Hello my dear CBC friends, we have already done four poems together. The Lumber on Top, A Photograph, The Voice of the Rain, Childhood. Now this is the fifth one, Father to Son. The title again is very general now. Not the father to the son or a father to a son, but father to son. First, we will, uh, that makes it applicable to, uh, say, just a general application to any father or any son. All right, so first we will read the poem and see, enjoy it. I do not understand this child, though we, were we, were, we have lived together now in the same house for years. I know nothing of him. So try to build up a relationship from how he was when small. And how I kill the seed I spend or sown it where the land is his and none of mine. We speak like strangers. There's no sign of understanding in the air. This child is built to my design, yet what he loves I cannot share. Cannot share. <laughs> Silence surrounds us. I would have him prodigal, returning to his father's house, the home he knew, rather than see him make and move his world. That is the problem. That is the crisis. We will come to that. I would forgive him too. I uh, shaping from uh, sorrow a new love. Father and son, we, we both must live on the same globe, on the same land. So there you find an anguish. You find a grief. I continue. <laughs> he speaks. I cannot understand myself. Why? Anger grows from grief. We each put out an empty hand, longing for something to forgive. It's a, I said this is a very beautiful point. Isn't this? Okay, let's see. What's the problem in the point? Three times the word understand is used. Line one, I do not understand. Line 10, of understanding. And line 21, I cannot understand. I do not understand, I cannot understand. I do not understand, it's a fact. I cannot understand, it is inability. So that is the problem, that is the, that is the, that is the theme of the poem. An understanding relationship between father and son. But the point is, see, actually it is not the son's mistake. See that? We must say that the father is at fault. It is, sometimes it happens, you know, when parent teacher meeting takes place, review, then parents will come and complain about their sons or daughters. Most of the time, teachers will say the problem is not with the child, it is with the parents. Here what we find is a very interesting situation, what we call narcissistic, narcissistic father, child, narcissistic, narcissistic father. Uh, so the word narcissistic comes from narcissism or narciss, narcissus, narcissus, you know, Narci, narcissus, narcissus is according to Greek mythology a handle, very beautiful handle, beautiful means you simply cannot describe that. Many, if I say ladies, see, they fell in love with a cop as the name of a lady who actually wanted to embrace it. A cop, you know, a cop is E C H O, E C H O, a cop. So uh, she was also beautiful, and she was infatuated by it. Him, his his beauty, but she he rejected. 
as a result of that what happened? In disappointment, she became very sad. And uh, what happened is that the story, the, you need not, uh, we need not go so deep into the story, then what happened to Narcissus is, he was very proud of his beauty. One day, he was thirsty after hunting. Then he wanted to take, drink some water. And he leaned like this. Then he saw his reflection. He fell in love with that. He fell in love with his own image, his own reflection. And he could not ask, he started grieving. See that? Of course, there was a punishment given to him by Goddess Nemesis, Goddess of Revenge. Nemesis. 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 So the point is this, of course this is narrated in Ovid by Ovid, Metamorphosis. Now those difficult things you may forget, don't worry about that. If you are interested in you can go to, uh, you can go uh, see and read it, the book may be in your library or you can get it from internet. And then what happened is that, you know, the point here is narcissism. Narcissism, that means self-love. Here the father is suffering from that. Self-love. He wants, he has got narcissist, narcissistic parents, you know. They have, a, it's a mental problem. <laughs> it's a mental problem. He requires a psychiatrist, a treatment by a psychiatrist. Not all the that. There are many symptoms. But here you find two symptoms, very clear. One is, narcissistic parents have got many symptoms, see, narcissism has. But in this poem it is, first is, lack of empathy. Lack of empathy. What is empathy means? Lack of empathy, that is, inability to understand. I, Inability to understand the child's own uh, interests, so to say. The parent is in the unable to understand the child's interests or child's thoughts. Because the child's thought is rather than see him, sorry, the child's thought is for him it is make and move his world. The child wants to, it's not a child actually, when you see, though we have lived together now in the same house for years. So that means not a child, father to son, the son is a grown up man. And even when the son is grown up man, he simply cannot understand the feelings and thoughts and imaginations and plans and projects of his son, very sad. It's a very sad situation. So the father should be treated. So one sign, as I said, one symptom is this. That they have lack of empathy. Inability to understand the thoughts of the child or the son. Second is extreme possessiveness. Extreme possessive. Possessiveness. This happens with many, many parents. Extreme possessiveness. They don't want to separate their child. They don't want to cut the umbilical cord. So to say. They want to, you are saying Kangaru, no? Kangaru. So they want to carry their or child or son or daughter always with them. That is not a good attitude. You cannot allow such a thing. The child should be, as he grows up, he should be allowed to separate from you and build your own, his own life. That is the problem here. And he said that the, the father is in anguish, he is suffering from grief. And he said, I do not understand this child, that is the problem, understand, lack of empathy. I do not understand this child, means I do not understand, I am unable to understand the thoughts 
and the feelings of my my son. He is although he is a grown up son, still he calls this child. That itself is a contradiction. It's not a young guy. He is not a child. The son is must be 22 and 22, 23 or even 30 because though we have lived together now in the same house for years. What does that mean? That means the son is not a child but still he calls him child. So that's the problem. Narcissistic parents. Narcissism is self-love. He wants his son to be exactly like him as a puppet or a doll, although he has grown. This is a problem that should be treated by a psychiatrist. Listen. Please, parents, if parents are listening to my or watching my video, kindly don't misunderstand me. What I am telling you or presenting before you is a fact, something that is happening every parent teacher meeting where you have a review of your children. He, I do not understand. You have to understand. So in that way, this poem is a wonderful poem, I would say. It's a kind of treatment, therapy. I do not understand this self. Though we have lived together now in the same house for years, I know nothing of him. So try to build up a relationship from how he was once more shy. You cannot do that. He is, we have lived years together, so he must be about 31, 35. Moving, making his world, making his life, making his, his home. Then looking after his family, then how can you say that the relationship, so the father is thinking of something impossible. Impossible. So that is the mistake. Narcissism. Self-love. And here I, I et, et ha, et have I killed the seed I spend or sown it where the land is his and none of mine. So now the world is his, not mine. So don't find fault with the sun. You have to find fault with the universe. And then the whole thing, you can see, the problem arises from this. So the problem was, what is the problem? We speak like strangers. There is no sign of understanding in the air. This child, oh, again he is calling this grown-up man this child. Second time. First time we learned one, you know, this is line 11. Says this child, this child is built to my design, yes. He might resemble him. Yet, what he loves, I cannot share. You cannot share, it is your problem. You have to, this father of this poem should immediately meet a psychiatrist. And you can say, you can tell him what is your problem, because I have already told him. That is narcissism, possessiveness, lack of empathy. That's the problem. So you must go and I cannot share. Silence surrounds us. There is no of common interest. So silence surrounds us. I would have him prodding, oh, this is the worst word that can be used in this poem. How is he prodigal? He is doing his best to come up in life. He is not a prodigal. Prodigal means what? Prodigal son. You know, the story of prodigal son. Whatever he, his share, he somehow managed to get from his father and he went away to an unknown land. And then what happened next? Like, so that is prodigal. This is nothing to do with the prodigal. Returning to his father's house, the home he knew, rather than see him make and move his world. Lack of empathy. Clear lack of empathy. That is, I don't want my child to grow up on his own, stand on his own legs. What a terrible thing is that. What a terrible situation is that. How can a 
man, a grown up man, the father thinks that he is still a child, he has to take him with him. He has to hold his hands and he crosses the road. What a terrible situation is that, you know? Only if you suffer from this, you will understand this. See that? Or even you become a victim of such parents. That is horrible. No doubt about it. Because, see, he doesn't want to see him, him means child, that is son, make a more, make a, make a know his will. This is the, the, the problem. I will forgive him. Why, why should he forgive? Let him have his will. Shape him from sorrow a new love. A new love. Is it possible for you, Father? New love should be a mature relationship. But you are unwilling to do that. Right from the very beginning, beginning of the point, you are saying, I am unwilling. I will not. Let him come. He is a prodigal. I don't want to see him making his... Uh, that is, he says that he make and move. See him make and move his world. See him make and move his world. Then how can he be prodigal? Then what kind of love you want to make? What kind of relationship you want to build? It is new love. If it is new love, then you should say this mature love. And you should not be worried about this at all. Father and son, we both must live on the same globe, the same land. Who is against it? The moment you go and Correct yourself. Rectify your view of your son. Rectify. That's the word. Correct. Then what will happen? Things will be alright. So the, the mistake or the problem is not from the part of the son, but it is all the father. He makes all the problem. Calamity. On the globe and the world. Should he? he speaks. What does he say? He said, I cannot understand myself. What is this? What is it? I have done everything. I cannot understand myself. And then continues, why anger grows from grief? Whose anger grows from grief? Father's. Father is the villain here. Son is the victim here. We each put out an empty hand. So, after all, his son, so he also says, I don't understand you. Longing for something to forgive. I will tell you what is the thing that you are longing for. Father is longing for a mature relationship. You will get it the moment you kill your narcissism in you. My dear father, please do that. If there are any parents or fathers doing this thing, it will be a, it will be, actually you are acting the part of a villain in the life of a, your own son or daughter for that matter. Actually, so this is a poem I think that will open the eyes of parents. I should say that every parent teacher meeting of every parent teacher association. When you are reviewing the progress of your children or sons or daughters, you should open the meeting by reading this poem so that the eyes of the parents may be opened and they see the facts. Otherwise, 50% of the complaint is this. He, and he does not understand, she does not understand. I have got projects for him. He doesn't like it. You should not have projects for him. And that's wrong. They should have their project. They will come, come up with their project. And that way you can intervene. Not your project upon them. Trust upon them. If you do that, you are finished. You are, you are not high. You are also finished. And you are son or daughter. So therefore, please understand. Try to understand. You should not say like this, I do not understand this child. You should, you should say like boldly, I understand my son. I understand my daughter. Now I understand. So that is the poem. Hope that I have made things clear to you. Tomorrow we will have a question answer session. Till then, bye. Have a nice day. But
Take this with you. Keep distance to keep Corona away.